Dancing Donkey Farm. Um, it's October 24th here in the Pacific Northwest and we've had amazingly mild temperatures so we were still harvesting great things from our garden even last weekend. We're expecting a freeze this weekend so we probably won't um, have quite as much but our greenhouse is robust and providing a lot of good stuff already as well. So today what I'm going to be talking about is how to use your Deva stove. So this is a beautiful um, um, wood burning stove that we purchased a few years ago um, already. And what I have going on is I've already prepared the potatoes. They're sitting here warm, keeping warm. And then I have in the oven some um, winter squash that we had grown here at our farm. And the potatoes um, are from the farmer's market. And I fried them up with some bacon grease from the bacon that we also got from the farmer's market. So we either raise everything here or we um, get it at the farmer's market. Very little stuff comes from the grocery store anymore. Even the firewood came from a tree that was um, getting ready to, to die and was already um, experiencing some drought stress. So we took it down last year in the wood season. So the wood came from our property too. So we're trying to be very um, conscientious of the environment and, and how we're treading on it. So today, what I'm going to be doing is demonstrating how you prepare um, a meal on this wonderful Deva stove um, using um, this frying pan that has a copper finish because I love using this one for frying eggs. It dissipates heat just really beautifully. And over here, I have some baking grease. Um, and I'm just going to put a little bit in this pan and we're going to put it on the stove and melt it. And then I'm going to toss an egg in there. So with the Deva over here, of course, is the hottest spot. And then over here is cooler. And I'm going to put it kind of in between just to get that going. And I've already prepared um, the ingredients for my four egg omelet. So we love eggs. These eggs come from our chickens here at the farm as well. They are pasture raised and eat organic um, soy and corn free feed. And then they forage, of course, for a lot of this stuff. So um, they get a little supplement and then they do a lot of foraging. So we're gonna scramble those eggs up really nice and then get that ready. And I've already chopped up some parsley and some garlic as well as watercress. I love the taste of watercress. It's a little bit um, peppery and so I like to sprinkle that in with the eggs. And um, as a treat for myself, I'm drinking a little nettle tea from the nettle that we grew here at um, Dancing Donkey that I had dried out earlier um, a couple weeks ago. So anyways, let's check on this. It looks like it's getting warm here. You can see the bacon fat is melting. It looks beautiful. I'm just going to let this heat up a little bit. And then we're going to toss the eggs in there along with the top, um, this wonderful stuff here. We are so blessed here at Dancing Donkey that we have all of this abundance. It's just beautiful. Let this juice around. You know, I love cooking with animal fat. It's a lot healthier than um, any kind of store-bought oil or grease that you can get. Here we go. Put those eggs in there. Let that cook for a little bit. Toss some of these greens that I chopped up in there. It's so beautiful here. Some garlic. It's gonna be a beautiful omelet. Okay. And of course, everything gets very hot over here. And I'm gonna move it over here just for a little bit. So when you're cooking on the dether, you're constantly moving things around depending on you know how hot you'd like it. Um, like I said, right now, this is staying on the on the warmer to keep it warm. And then our squash, you know, it's looking good. This is gonna be for lunch. Earlier today, um, I had simmered a big pot of um, chicken backs. So I had a little bit of meat on it and mostly um, simmering it gets all of that nice um, broth going. So then we're gonna make some um, winter squash soup later 
for lunch and um, use that broth from the chicken. I use every part of the chicken that I possibly can. Um, I think it's kind of disrespectful to waste our food or waste anything. So I try to um, use everything that we have. And I'm watching the eggs here. And you, and you do, you know, un, uh, different than a conventional oven, you do have to pay a little bit more attention. It's quite an art cooking on this Deva. And, and of course, I made a lot of mistakes when I first started um, cooking on this stove. And things sometimes didn't turn out quite right. But um, we've had it for a few years now. And I'm getting better at this. So I'm looking at these eggs. They're looking really beautiful. I'm noticing that they're cooking just fine. So I'm going to reduce the heat a little bit and just let it sit over there. Um, and it looks like it might almost not quite be ready to flip here. We're going to have ourselves a really nice omelet and some potatoes for breakfast. Here we go. Looks like it's ready to flip now. Just kind of gently do this. Oh, like I said, this copper pan is so wonderful. I just love the way it dissipates the heat here. There we go. I'm just going to let it cook just a tiny bit more here. Um, I might just move it over a little bit to get the heat down a little bit so it doesn't cook too fast. Um, you can cook really gentle on this Deva as long as you know how to move things around. That's looking really great. Look really nice. It's gonna have a nice flavor with that bacon grease in there. Sometimes I'll render duck fat as well as chicken fat and use that. That's a good um, fat, healthy fat too. And um, fats are healthy for us. We need them, um, you know. And unlike the vegetable fats that you get at the grocery store, which are often rancid or um, cause other um, problems for your blood vessels and actually can cause um, higher cholesterol because it damages your blood vessels. So this stuff is good. And fat does not make you fat. <laughs> it's only good for you. So there we have it. Thank you for watching. Bye.